Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to study comparing of dissimilar fractions. Jana ate 4 fifths of a set of apples, while Wade ate 2 thirds of it. Who ate more apples? In able to solve this, let's write first the given fractions. For Jana, we have 4 fifths, and for Wade, we have 2 thirds. In comparing of the similar fraction, the first thing that we need to do is to multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. We have 3 times 4, that is equal to, very good, it's 12. So we're going to write 12 beside the numerator of the first fraction. Next, Let's multiply the denominator of the first fraction to the numerator of the second fraction. We have 5 times 2 is equal to, very good, it's 10. We will write 10 beside the numerator of the second fraction. So now, let's compare 12 and 10. So 4 fifths is greater than 2 thirds why? Because 12 is bigger than 10. Is that clear, children? How about if we have this? 5 tenths and 3 six. Let's compare this one. Let's multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction. 6 times 5 is equal to... Very good, it's 30. Let's multiply the denominator of the first fraction to the numerator of the second fraction. 10 times 3 is equal to... Good job! It's 30. Let's compare 30 and 30. So 5 tenths is equal to 3 six because we have 30 and 30. Is it easy? How about this example? 2 ninths and 3 fourths. Let's multiply this one first. 4 times 2 is equal to... Very good! It's 8. How about 9 times 3? That is equal to... Good job, children! It's 27. Let's compare 8 and 27. So, 2 ninths is less than 3 fourths because 27 is bigger than 8. How about this one? 4 eighths and 3 six. Let's multiply 6 and 4. 6 times 4 equals... Very good children, it's 24. How about 8 times 3 equals... Good job, it's 24. Let's compare 24 and 24. The answer is... Equal sign. So 4 eighths is equal to 3 six. How about this one? 5 tenths and 5 eighths. Let's multiply. 8 times 5 equals. Very good. It's 40. How about this one? 10 times 5 equals. Good job. It's 50. So what is the answer? Very good, children. It's less than because 40 is smaller than 50. So now, get your drill board. Using your drill board, I want you to compare the fractions using greater than, less than, or equal symbol. Let's have the first number, 7 fifths and 3 fourths. Write your answer on your drill board. Let's do it together. 4 times 7 equals 28. While 5 times 3 equals 15. Let's compare 28 and 15. The answer is... That's correct. It's greater than. So 7 fifths is greater than 3 fourths. Is that clear, children? How about this one? 2 six and 3 fifths. Write your answer on your drill board.
Let's answer it together. 5 times 2 equals 10. While 6 times 3 equals 18. Let's compare 10 and 18. The answer is less than. Why? Because 18 is bigger than 10. So 2 6 is less than 3 fifths. How about this one? 4 fifths and 7 tenths. Write your answer on your drill board. Let's answer it together. 10 times 4 equals 40. While 5 times 7 equals 35. The answer is 40 and 35. That's correct. It's greater than because 40 is bigger than 35. So we have 4 fifths greater than 7 tenths. Always remember children, in comparing of the similar fractions, multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction and write the product beside the numerator of the first fraction. Next, multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction then write the product beside the numerator of the second fraction. And lastly, compare the two products. 